as we were preparing for the gala, I started to think about the words that I could use to express my deep gratitude for Diane and Hal Brierly. And I found myself struggling to find words that were meaningful enough for the depth of feeling that I had. And then I thought of a song. In 1937, George Gershwin, the great American composer, died much too young, tragically. He left behind the last song that he had just finished writing the music for. It didn't yet have words to it. His brother Ira, his great lifelong collaborator who had written the lyrics to all of those classic Gershwin Brothers songs, his brother Ira found the music and wrote lyrics to that melody. It would be the last new song written by George and Ira Gershwin. He attempted in those lyrics to write a tribute to his dear brother, his lifelong collaborator, his friend. So tonight, Liz and I want to share this song with you, with Diane and Hal to express our feelings for them, and with all of you who have stood by us even in these difficult times because you believe in the possibility of theater to transform and to heal our community. The more I read the papers, the less I comprehend the world and all its capers and how it all will end. Nothing seems to be lasting but that isn't our affair. We've got something permanent, I mean, in the way we care. It's very clear our love is here to stay. Not for a year, but ever and a day. The radio and the telephone and the movies that we know may just be passing fancies and in time will go. But oh my dear, our love is here to stay Together we're going a long, long way In time the Rockies may crumble, Gibraltar may tumble They're only made of clay But our love is here to stay it's very clear our love is here to stay <laughs> not for a year but ever and a day the radio and the telephone and the movies that we know may just be passing fancies and in time may go but oh my dear oh my dear our love is here to stay our love is here to stay together together we're going a long long Clay, but our love is here 